What's up, guys? Gonna be opening up my box of Times Power Up Remastered. And, uh, this is my first time ever doing a recording of a box opening, so let's just get right into it. I'm really excited to see if I get any premium goodies. Set that aside. for you all to see. Okay, let's just start it off. First pack. And again, our mentor. Oh, dried herb, nice. I needed one of these. Oh, <laughs> Right off the bat, a foil Mystic Sanctuary. That's a nice one. I'm super happy about that. I think that's gonna be well sought after. Go ahead and put the uncommon separate too. All right, let's get into the next one. That's a good way to start the box. I'm very pleased. I'm gonna be honest, I was pretty worried coming into this. Worried I should just be sitting on the box, not you know, cracking it for less value, but that makes me feel a lot better. All right, we got a sudden spoiling. Oh, Gurmag Angler, that's a good one to have. Nice. There's a token. Right, let's get the next one. Okay, go through these. Real quickly. The game hunter harmonize. Uber shooting shapeshifter. Nice, nice. Oh, and then a Thrag Tusk. I'm a little worried getting all the good ones first. Is it gonna be all downhill from here? Hope not. Let's see what else we got. Miri the Cursed in her altar. Gonna definitely be glad to have it. Ooh, Team Ascendancy. I feel like this is one of the big, bigger busts in the old borders. Uh, out of all the new old border cards that you can get, Team Ascendancy has to be like one of the least desirable ones. I don't think many people even play it in EDH or any format, so it's a little odd just to be in the thing in the first place. Ooh, Coalition really. Nice. Ooh, and Gary. We love Gary. Especially in that old boy. It's so nice. Okay, let's go ahead. And Karavik. Not worth much, but... Ooh, and nice Disdainful Stroke. It's a good one. Definitely probably keeping that one. Just have an EDH cube. Alright. And ooh, gemstone cavern is nice. Definitely needed this for my Jorah deck. It's also mythics. Ooh, relentless shards. I didn't know they could be in here. I wonder if there's someone crazy enough to want all old border relentless rats. And I wonder if that makes it an expensive card. Haven't actually checked the price for this. So. Alright. Goblin token. And stuffy doll. I think I got a foil here. A good nature's claim. And a foil. Corpulent Corpse. Quite the sheen, quite the sheen. Let's see what we got. Pulmonic Sliver. 
Ooh, Harvester of Souls, nice. It's an EDH playable, at least in some decks. Looks beautiful on that old border. Really looks from that era. The old thing twice. Okay. Ooh, Jaya Ballard. With the legendary frame. Like to see that. Ooh, Dovin's Veto, a nice card. Ooh, Foil Street Wraith. Might be worth, if I'm going to get a foil of a uncommon, might be one of the better ones to get. Not sure how, I mean, I, I love that art, but can't beat a street look with the old border, or well, the, what was it, Planar Chaos Border? Edge sliver. You will feel the rune. Nice. Definitely happy to have any of any of the old border card that can see play in any format, especially commander. Feel the rune is modern and and commander playable, so happy about that. Yeah, I'm chronically one of the less Hype ones, oh, I love this dismember. And then a Skirk Shaman. Can't be blocked except by artifact creatures and or red creatures. Wonder if this was originally printed with Intimidate and they're like trying to get rid of the old keyword since I know they discontinued it or if it just never had it in the first place. I love that dismember in the old border. And Life and Limb, The Judge's Nightmare. Ooh, Read the Bones. I'm happy to have that one. I love, I used to have a Marty Control deck that ran Read the Bones. It's such a nice card to give non blue decks. Oh, I guess it's black non blue decks. A way to draw cards efficiently instead of just paying two life and drawing two cards. Nether Trader, nice. I was hoping to open one of these. Need one for my Aristocrat Styles decks. Johnny's Pride Me, nice. Definitely not. Ooh, Foil Scrib Ranger. Can go right into my elf deck. That's a beauty. It's so fun opening these packs and having like basically like even these ones that aren't rare, theoretically, like a Johnny's Predmate was obviously an uncommon, like I'm still happy to see it alongside my rare. And I'm more hyped for these than some of the rares I've gotten. This is a really fun pack opening experience. Okay. Cloud Key, nice. Need this for my Jorah Commander deck. Happy to be getting one. Ooh, SRAM. SRAM looking good in that old border. Definitely a staple in any equipment deck. Just one of the better cards to finally come along to help that archetype. It's been getting a lot of support recently. Mm. Summoner's pack, nice. Another card I was hoping to pack for my elf deck and just a great modern playable in general. Ooh, Contagion Clasp in the old border. Beautiful, beautiful. Should have got a trash can ready. Like I said, it's my first pack opening, so live and learn. Alright, what do we got here? Boom bust. The new rules change. Don't know how much this will see play, but Nice to have one, especially if it's a bulker. Just hold on to it. Maybe be that guy. Ooh, beautiful remand. Ooh, and a foil sudden shock. That's a, that's a nice one. I'm getting some pretty good luck with these foil uncommons. Of course, I'd rather have a foil of the old border, but or a foil of certain rares. But 
they're not the worst. They could they could be four of the commons that are just like you know limited playable and that's it. So I mean, sudden shock could maybe go in like a cube or something. Has more potential than a lot of cards. Not upset with it. Not upset with it. All right, Calciderm, what a monster. Ooh, Urborg, nice. Got my own, can finally stop borrowing my friends. And a Repeal, beautiful. Got a Repeal, Remand, and Disdainful Stroke. Blue package. And Angel of Salvation. And oh, nice. We got a Ponder. Thankfully, that's going to be a nice one to have. Kick it is still showing up on the camera. Maybe I should start making two piles. I should probably sleeve this Mystic Sanctuary now that I think about it. I cause any double sleeve it right away. There we go. It's beautiful. Well, I spoiled the foil. It was a foil outrider in core. Nice little limited playable, but doesn't do anything else. It still do the rest of this pack, right? And our rear was the Hivestone. Ooh, and the Trinket Mage I need for my Jura deck. That's nice. Great to see you. Love to see it. Put it up here right there. And four blues. Time shifted in a row. Okay. And we got Magus of the Future and a Mirror Entity. Good card to have. Looks nice in that old border. As do. 99% of the cards they chose. Okay. Take it out. And we got Benelish Commander. Is our rare? Oh, and Ramanap runes. That looks sick. This one in particular. It's like darker than my other cards. Let me see if I can hold it up to the field of ruins. Let's see if you can yeah, you can tell the difference a little bit. I guess it has like a red tint to it, which is awesome. But if you could see it in person, it looks like quite a bit darker. It's awesome. Solaria West, nice. A great little package card. Stonehorn Dignitary. Got a lot of fond memories of this guy. Blinking him with Venser back in standard. See, opponent could never interact with you, at least for the combat. Okay. 
And we got Safi Eric's daughter. Nice. Wanted one of these just to have. Oh, and the Palace Jailer. That looks nice. You got a foil even rift watcher. I'm so happy to be opening a booster box right now. Life and Limb, another one. Not what you like to see. Oh, and then the regular Mystic Sanctuary. Oh, and this one also is just that very dark ink used. I guess it's on purpose at this point for the colored lens. They're just a little bit darker. But if you could see them in person, they're just noticeably, noticeably darker than the others. of Havenwood. Just a random fungus card. Cute little build around maybe for a little theme night. Oh nice lingering souls with the little graveyards. Oh <laughs> we got a foil Urborg Tomb of Yawgmoth. That is beautiful. It looks so dark. I wish you guys could see it in person. It looks very ominous. It's such a dark foil. Awesome. Damn, I'm... That's hype. Just perfect sleeving that. Beautiful. Two foil lens. The big hitters here. The most important card type in magic. Porphyry nodes. Cute little card. Ooh, nice containment priest. Looking great in that old border. Good little hate bear there to have, especially in the old border. like a land swarm yard not the most exciting land okay we got a foil white card I just peeked at oh yes the paradoxical outcome I needed this for my drawer deck I'm so happy that this card got chosen for the timesheet and then a Benelish Calvary foil nothing too exciting about that so glad I got that paradoxical outcome though looks Absolutely gorgeous. It's going to go perfect in my deck. Okay. So we got a red rare. Ooh, Wheel of Fate. Nice. Shift it up to Mythic. And then a Dreadhorde Arcanist. Not bad at all. Look amazing in a cube. Cute. Draining Walk, not the worst. Cute little card. Consuming Aberration, nice. I think we're down to the last six. OK, 
Okay, so I have a legendary rare. Multicolor, I think. Ith Hierarchinus, nice. Good little annoying card. Okay, I see I have a green foil. It's not time shifted. Ooh, Goblin Engineer, nice. Considering having this in a couple of my decks, so I'm happy to have it in the old border. Evolution Charm, nice. It's certainly playable. It's a beautiful foiling too. Actually hadn't noticed that the foiling is back to a more acceptable process. Well, we'll see. Obviously these aren't premium foils, so. But they're not Pringles, so. Oops, I accidentally spoiled my foil on this one. It's a Telerian Sentinel. Having my Dread. My favorite cards. Ooh, Angel's Grace. Nice with the new art. Love that. And a Sigil of the Empty Throne. Nice. This is beautiful. I would actually believe that this card was printed way back in the day. Especially with that art. There's a lot of angel love. Well, there still is a lot of angel love. But, you know, back in the days of Sarah and everything, her chroma. Another Yavi My Dryad. Okay. We got a foil on this one, I think. Oh, nice. Walk the Aeons. Good card to just have. Great for a collection. Oh, beautiful. Past in Flames. I'm a huge lover of Storm, so I am so happy to have this. Oh, <laughs> foil Jorah of the Gitu. Anyone who knows me knows that Jorah is just my favorite character in all of Magic. Um, I love both of her printings, both in Time Spar and Dominaria. So this is this is how I know this box was made for me. She's beautiful. I'm s and then this Jorah. Although I'm normally one to like the original printings of at least of my favorite cards. Uh, you know, I'm one of those people. This one is distinct from the other because now it has the new legendary border, so I'm extremely happy to have it. Just double sleeving it. Get her. She's a beauty. This box has been amazing. I'm already so satisfied and I have three packs left. Let's see if it can get any better. Alright. I think we got a flaw on this one too. Ooh, living in. Nice, we got three mythics. This is nice. Don't know if I'd ever play living in, but... It's good to have. Stinkweed M, nice. Great dredge enabler. Last two packs. Rada, air to kill, nice. Very. If she was printed today, that mana would at least last until your the end of your turn. But what are you gonna do? Oh, beautiful Leyland of the Void! I needed this. Super happy to have that, especially with that old art and that old border. Such a beautiful card. All right, last pet, guys. Let's see if you can make it a bang. Okay, a red rare, let's see what it is, Greater Gargadon, alright, I think, no there's no foil, okay, so last time shifted card, Rakdos Charm, nice, not bad at all, certainly playable in any black red deck, I love all three modes of it, 
and that's the box man what a what a great box i'm i'm extremely happy some huge highlights jora just for me personally i love jora she's also an extremely powerful card i'm sure there's a lot of jora advocates out there and we've got our two foil lands mystic sanctuary and urborg these are incredible especially the sanctuary a card that should have never been printed i'm happy to have in foil it's gonna probably fetch a high price or just look really nice in one of my decks whatever format it's legal in of course and then we got gemstone caverns living end and Wheel of Fate. Did we get another Mythic? I don't think so. And then another Urborg, Dryad Arbor, Summoner's Pact, Cloud Key, some great, great cards, some awesome ones I needed for my own collection. And then these, of course, these beauties. Love every single one of them. Leyline, super happy to have. Dismember, extremely happy to have. Gary, love seeing him. Grumag Angler, glad to have that. Got Past in Flames, one of my favorites. Goblin Engineer, love that. Paradoxical, extreme. I almost I forgot that this was in the set. Cause I'm filming this a day after Time Sparrow Remastered's release and. Totally forgot I needed that and wanted that, so I'm so happy that I got it. My own Mystic Sanctuary, if I want to keep this one. Trinket Mage, beautiful. Ponder, absolutely beautiful. Remand and Repeal, beautiful as well. Some great cards just all around. This was a great box, I'm extremely happy with it. But thanks everybody for watching, and if you like this content, please let me know. I'd be extremely happy to do more. And... Until next time, thanks for all the support.